YouTube, good to see you. Offline Frost Prime here. It's just you and me. There's no Twitch chat today. If you're new to the channel, I do these uh, relatively infrequently. You see, over my time as a content creator, I've put out two main different types of content. I've done larger video essay, 10 to 15 minute long deep dives on different League of Legends characters. And then I became a streamer and I just started, and when I felt comfortable, I started making stream highlight videos. And so I've always had either a big script to read off of and a bunch of ideas in my head that I slowly got on the paper or a Twitch chat to make funnier jokes than I could. And then I say, no guys, stop saying that stupid thing. <laughs> I'm less good uh, in this in this sort of a scenario, but we'll, we'll hopefully do okay. Uh, playing the Watcher here, but you will see very quickly that the Watcher should not be the intimidating part of this run. Um, this is uh, using Filter the Spire. It's a mod that allows you to choose. You can choose anything from what boss relics you want to see, what boss swap you want to see, what whale bonuses in general you want to see, uh, and also what your first shop is. And I said that I would like my first shop to have Prismatic Shard. So we're going to see uh, what kind of a run we can get into today. I'm here today because uh, main one main reason that's kind of two smaller reasons broken up. Main reason is I'm kind of lacking on content, the backlog on the content. So Andrew's having to work, you know, the day of to get the, the video out the next day. So I'm trying to give a little bit of a buffer here by making a second video today offline after the stream. Uh, but also the reasoning for that is because I've been taking some more time off recently. Um... I mean, yeah, if I'm wanting to get a prismatic shard on the first goddamn floor or the first shop, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of money to guarantee because it doesn't guarantee that you're able to purchase it. So, yeah, let's guarantee that we're able to purchase it and let's head right there and let's get our immediate thing. Um, but yeah, I've been taking more days off recently. I say more. It's, I've been, <laughs> I was taking one day off a week. Ooh. And now I'm sometimes, sometimes taking two. Essentially, whenever my partner Hannah has saturday off from her work she's a veterinary technician then i'll take saturday off as well um i mean i like doing a little bit of mantra stuff but if we're gonna be taking prismatic shard i think i would rather take the prey normally i'm a prostate guy first i think it has more utility just as a blanket card but this gets you to divinity faster right so let's do that and i think it might have more utility if we start to incorporate more things into it more 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 the drawing capability could do some cool things at the same time i don't know maybe i'm talking out of my ass let me know in the comment section down <laughs> so, okay <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, i think i'm four damage off lethal that kind of sucks can i get lethal here i can i believe right because you just do this and then i do this and then i do this and then i do that and then i do that boom Look at that. Look at that. Right before we get to the prismatic shard, we now have it. We now have the god run. Uh, we could remove a defend, but I kind of think we need to take a damage card. I guess we could take maybe this elite. We could take the Sands of Time. Sands of Time does very well with Mantra, and then we could remove a defend. Because against a lot of elites... I'm wanting to consider if I want to, like, lean really heavily. Because elites early in Act 1 are very damage race heavy, where you just kind of want to go into Wrath and, and see if you can kill him as fast as possible. So I'm kind of considering taking this Fear Potion as well, just to guarantee that victory. I'm excited to see what my, my first hard war is. I don't even know if I finished my point about taking more time off. It's healthy to do so. You know that. I know that. Do Does it, does it make me still not take as much time off as is probably healthy for me absolutely i am i am a massive absolute hypocrite when it comes to taking the healthy amount of time off also i'm sorry that i'm a little sniffly i was just cuddling my bunnies a wheel kick i mean it's still a watcher card but fantastic i must say more drawing mechanics is gonna uh, allow us to hopefully get in and out of divinity Maybe we can even remove eruption at some point this round. That'd be really cool, right? I think that'd be dope. Yeah, let's 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 refuse the 150 gold just because we're very damage heavy. So right now we have to play these cards two times each in order to go into divinity. But if we upgrade one, you now only have to play each of them once and then either of them an additional time. 
very much helps you out. I fucking hate this as this character, but... I keep saying but. I feel like I'm just a butt machine right now. Could take this, and that could help us a lot once we get into that. But I also think that if we're going to get into Divinity relatively soon, that won't help nearly as much. This is this elite can be very, very difficult because you go into Wrath and then can never get out, right? Keep drawing me. Keep drawing me good stuff. Um, This is hard, man. There is not a good play here. You can kill one and then take 20, or you'd block for 15 and then take 20. So I think I'll block for 15 and then take 20. Get this Sands of Time down to zero, I guess. I don't know. Well, know that if this fails, you won't see this on YouTube because the run won't exist. Um, <laughs> me, Give me one draw. That is what I'm talking about. Give me one of these. Then give me one of these. Then give me one of those. Then take this. And go boom! Now all we need to do is 16 damage this turn. I think that's manageable. Very manageable. Fantastic. A shovel? Really? Blade Dance is not bad. It has a lot of synergy with a lot of things. One, obviously multi multiplying your damage. Two, exhaust synergies, which is really good in Prismatic Shard decks. Again, I'm sorry if I just keep getting sidetracked and then not going back and talking about the thing that I was talking about before. Um, could transform. Usually that's what you want to do when you have this many strikes and defends. I'm actually leaning towards just straight up removal, though, because of the fact that we have the prismatic shard. You could also upgrade, though. Get an upgrade on one of these guys. Yeah, it doesn't sound bad. Could also upgrade this, so you just have to play three of any prey, because if one's not the best to play early on, it's not terrible. I'm, I think I'm going to lean into the remove. Do I want to remove another defend? Usually the Watcher likes to remove defends, but I'm also kind of not the Watcher, but I am the Watcher still. For a little bit, I'm straying away from being the Watcher, but let's remove a, let's remove one of these. I want to go to a second elite immediately. We still have a very good potion. We could go this way and get two more upgrades. This way allows another removal, and I kind of like that. Horncleat is so fucking fantastic. And I know that I said uh, we get more upgrades. I'm so sorry. Maybe I'll dig. Maybe. If you all like and... I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I don't want to be cringe. It's just like, I, I live and breathe content, YouTube and stupidity and. All right, this is good. I am nervous for what's about to come. I think we're going to need this for some extra energy on a good turn. I want to draw defense. I don't want to draw anything else. I don't want to draw that eruption on a bad turn because it could just kill me straight up, right? Do we have lethal here? That's a good question, yeah? We might have lethal if we draw this. Okay. If we draw divinity is what I was going to say. Okay, let's just do some math real quick. Let's do some math. 9 times 1.5. 13. I think this game rounds down. I, You know, I have 2,500 hours. I should know. 13 plus. Then we'd be in divinity. So it'd be 30, 45 plus 45. It's just multiplying by 3. Plus... Uh, 60, right? Plus 60. Boom! You're dead. Do I have the mana for that? I do. Sweet. Do I need that? Wait, hold on. Do I even need the potion? 9 plus 30. It's 39. Wow, imagine. <laughs> plus 40 is 79. Um, and that goes boom, boom, boom. That is all our mana. So, yeah. I do believe we need this. If I'm wrong, yell at me in the comments. I don't know. I think I was right, though. Duality. Whenever you gain an attack, or if you play an attack, gain one temp strength. Not bad. I don't think I want the fasting. Outmaneuver is interesting, though. Especially if I'm going to continue to play all these preys. Outmaneuver could be very cool. It's a lot of, like, setup for next turn. Setup, setup, setup. Never acting. But that could be cool. We would really want a Runic Pyramid, then. That sounds fun. All right, let's fuck around. Let's see what we can do. I think I'm still comfortable to not rest. But I'm gonna I'm gonna disappoint you. I I, I do want to upgrade something, and I think you could probably upgrade this Sands of Time. I wish Sands of Time upgrade reduced its cost by one. Lose wheel kick or lose money? Fuck. I don't think I can lose wheel kick though. It's too good. Ugh, maybe I shouldn't have taken the relic. Fuck me. I guess I wouldn't have had enough to remove because it would have been 100 and 95. Okay, that was a smart issue. Losing out on ice cream sucks. Losing out on the entire shop always just sucks. Just feels like such a waste, you know. Okay, we should be able to defeat you with relative ease, I do believe. 
Yes. I'm not exactly excited about this. But we should just have lethal, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Extra energy is so fun. Barricade is a cool idea. But how the hell do I make it work? We have Horn Cleat. That's how you make it work, Tristan. You have Horn Cleat. Should I upgrade it? No, I mean, with the outmaneuver, it should be easier to get in play. But I'm also very scared for this guy killing me. If we draw it on turn one or two, it's really good. If we, do if we don't draw it on turn one or two, which is about a one in third chance of not doing that, really, really bad. Really, 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 really bad. What is the point of needing to upgrade it if we're not going to draw it on turn one or two? We could dig, but I'm very scared of, of dying on turn three. But maybe we can just rush this guy down. Maybe we can just freaking rush this guy down. I'm past the one minute mark. I can say fuck. Oh, yeah. Duality. Duality with the shivs. Very cool. Right, this is just 40 damage. Not splitting. And it does put the sands of time in my hand. That's fantastic. Puts the sands of time in my hand. If I play this and then draw with the insight, there's a good chance that I'll draw one of the mantras again. <laughs> Boom. If only Twitch chat could see me now. Vault is incredible. It, it, I mean, watcher cards are good. Who could have fucking guessed? But Vault's really good because of the Sands of Time. It's really good because of the Sands of Time. It really, it's really good because it allows us to then, you know, play out maneuver Vault. Like, we actually have things that combo well with it outside of it. The Barricade, you play Barricade on turn one and somehow also can afford the Vault because, you know, you're on Ancient T-Set. Um, then you could get the 14 block next turn while also getting your Barricade to play. There's actually some good combinations with it. Uh, I also think that Immolate, just straight up with Divinity, is really, really strong. Alchemize is never bad, but I'm going to take the Vault. Say it with me. Say it with me. One, two, three. Boom. Love that. Love that. Love that. Love that. I know what your immediate thought was, probably, by the way. I'm still on the thought of I haven't finished my point about taking time off. I know what your immediate thought is, by the way. Of, oh, my God. Why don't you just, like, upload less to the YouTube channel? Hello. I like money. Hey, shut up. You know? <laughs> I don't have a good answer to that. I I don't want to stop. I, I really, 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 really. I kind of want to take three leads. Do I got my balls. See, here's the thing. If you take one, you have to take two. That's the issue. Whereas this way, you can get low health here. Be like, no. And then you go here and you're like, ah, you know, like you can take zero. But this way is fun. <laughs> and it gets you a lot of question marks, too, for possibly Coliseum. You know, there's no backing out once you start. And that's that's what scares me about that path. I think I'm going to go the baby path. So I want to guarantee the content. We're close. We're close to good content. I just need to, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not good at, I'm not good at slowing down. I'm sure that a lot of you in chat are, are Jesus, in YouTube, in, in, in the, in the uh, you know, thinking of, you're watching this right now, and you're like, he's me, for real, you know? I am. I am very much you. You specifically watching this video. I am you. Let's do this, and then Miracle Vault. Still rocking a bunch of extra health. 40 plus 24 knotted. 52 plus 24. That looking like it. And I also don't feel like I am... I feel like I'm a little overworked. But for the most part, I feel like what I what the, the amount of work that I give myself is relatively healthy. I've been I've been trying to take more, more time for myself, even on you know days that I do stream. If we're upgrading, we definitely need to get some energy costs down or some energy up. One of those needs to happen. Vault is probably more often comboed, right? You do something and then you vault. You do something and then you vault. You do a little something and then you vault, you know? Blade Dance plus Strike. Very good to knock someone down. Potentially this guy. Damn, one mana off from being able to barricade vault here. Sheesh. Okay, let's just knock. Let's knock you on the ground. No, you. You suck. So we knock you on the ground. Then we vault it. This guy goes down by one. Now we can go... I mean, we could. We can draw another attack card. This is currently... No, this is just lethal on you, right? Four plus 26. Get fricked. 
Pardon my language. <laughs> it hacked. Yeah, Jesus. That's a lot of damage. Um, we might be picking 30. Oh, no. I don't know if we have an answer to that. Ow. We can block 8, which is good. I guess we can block for 5. We can take 25. It's still not great. I'm not happy with this. Uh, we can block 10, because this actually kills straight up. Straight up. I think there's another out. Oh, we can block 12 because of duality. Let's go! This is not going well. <laughs> you pay the price, huh? Paying the price. I don't see a decent way around this. Oh, no. You can just knock them on the ground. Where's Twitch chat when I need them? Where are they when I need them? I got to prove that I'm I'm good without them. Trip. So good. So is Second Wind, though. Actually, Second Wind is incredible with Barricade, right? And it also helps clear out our hand, which we're seemingly having a small problem with. That's, this is an interesting decision. It's a very interesting decision. Second one helps us block the damage. You saw it with the potion. It was just... Boom! You know? Was that 78 damage? Vulnerable in Wrath? In Divinity? Like, even more? This is also easier to play. I don't know. I'm going to take the second wind. I might be wrong. Is it, why am I getting so many fights? What the heck, man? You know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to do this. I'm going to play one shift. But I'm going to keep the rest in my hand. So that I don't have to spend the mana cost. But if we can do a little something, something. You know what I'm saying? I'm playing one more. I guess this is ordered technically because we could be getting a little bit more block. But. Um. Barricade's second wind is available. Something, something, vault is available. It's annoying that I have not been drawing my Sands of Time super early on. That does, in fact, annoy me. That is one damage off killing you with that, which is annoying. But I can do this. This. Once again, going into Wrath and then just pressing on turn. <laughs> Am I a smart person? Answer honestly. Okay. And then we can do this. Play this. Clears out our hand. This guy goes down. We have Divinity guaranteed next turn. Ooh. Slam him. Ham him. Kiss him. Love that. Okay, so we need to figure out a long-term solution. I'm in slow motion all of a sudden. Snake plan. You're going to kill me. Not killing me on turn one. It's interesting. Same combo here. Hold out. Get rid of the mana this turn. Um, we do have a lot of mana here. A lot of mana. A lot of mana. Can do this. Get this out of my hands. This out of my hands. I'm going to vault it here. Only draw four. You might think that that's crazy to do. And I realize now why it's so crazy, you must be saying. <laughs> Listen. You had 14 block next turn. Or last turn. You, you have none now. What are you doing? And to that I say... <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> Did I do that? Was that me? Check this combo out, though. Drawn to the second wind. Fuck. Oh, man. <laughs> if I had drawn the second wind, I could have exhausted down all of these cards, okay? And I could have gotten back. No, it wouldn't. No, it would have worked. Because I could have prayed and then second wind. I would have gotten a decent amount of block. You got to admit, I would have gotten a decent amount of block. Fuck! It's a bit sad. There's really nothing I can do here. 
Like, it's just play two blocks, take 14. But hey, that's why we went this way for this pivot point. It's so that I could fuck up embarrassingly. I really do need my Twitch chat. They're my rock. I'm sorry, YouTube. You're, you're good too, but... Nothing like a good Twitch chat. Fuck, man. I just can't catch a break here. We have to play a defend. Otherwise, we are dead. Otherwise, we are very literally exactly dead. It's okay. We'll, 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 we'll kill him next turn. We'll kill him this turn when we... When we... 100%... Draw Divinity! Look at that. He's incredible. Ambrosia. That's nice. Go for the eyes. It's really, really good, actually, I think. Nice. Okay, I like that. Hey, guys. I think it's time to rest. What are your thoughts? Am I smart? <laughs> Fuck. I think with Ambrosia, we got it, though. I think with Ambrosia, we should be fine. Just be willing to use it, right? This is a good turn one. This is a good turn one. You get the barricade. You get the vigilance. You still take a little bit of D. It's fine. But then we get the barricade off with this. Does that even do anything for <laughs> uh, All right. Draw me into something good here. Is, is it time to just go into Divinity? Open Prague. You get to one-shot bear. They all scream. Kill this guy. He's going to weaken me. Then get that guy down the one. Don't take any damage. Hold two block. That was the play all along. All right. We lost, what, four health and got a DuPont. That's nice. Prostate. Whoa. We need to upgrade one of those mantra cards, and then we can get through it on first rotation, and we can get into Divinity. I don't know if I can do that, though. Okay. If you're going to rest at a campfire, and you're about to go through here, don't rest right before here, because if I get max HP, you get Regal Pillow... You get Eternal Feather. There's a bunch of stuff that can make you not want to rest as much. So I am going to upgrade the Prostrate. Prostrate. Sorry. It's a stream thing. I don't actually say it. I know that it's called Prostrate. Okay, preserved Insect. That's amazing. That's a really, really good going into this. And with Dupe Pot and everything going on, I think we are in good shape. Maybe. Once again, I'm on Copium. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Kill this guy. I don't like Fat Gremlin. He, he, he hurts a lot. We can do this, into this, into this, into that. Hold four block, because it's 50-50. So if you guys don't know how this works, if there's two gremlins or more alive, it's 100% chance after a buffing turn to get attacked. If gremlins have just been summoned, it's a 50-50 if they will attack. But if you kill one after the buffing turn, it's a 50-50 if they'll attack. If you kill both, it's 20% chance of attack. It's really, really good to kill both. A lot of time. If you can. I could not. Here I can. But they're still going to summon this turn and then be a 50-50 of, of attacking or not. And I get attacked. That's fine, though. I think, I think we're okay. I think we're really okay. I can go this. Outmaneuver. Vault me. <gasps> Look at the combo. Look at the plays. And then we draw all this. Go like this. Imagine if I had the trip. <laughs> Imagine. This should be lethal, right? Yeah. Oh. I mean, if not, I had second wind on four cards. It's really good. A ceramic fish. It's already upgraded. What am I? What am I doing? Regal pillow and dreamcatcher for my inevitable bountiful rests. No, I think it's probably removing it. I think we can start getting rid of a little bit more. Yeah, maybe. I think so. Purity actually might be the play instead. Oh, let's do that. Look at me thinking. And remove and Ragnarok. No, I don't think we need Ragnarok. I don't think we need both, do we? Do I? Doth thou? It'd be fun. I know what you're thinking. It'd be fun. And I'm trying to say, hey, listen, remember that time that we like got the three HP like a floor ago? Chill. You know, that's what, I, that's what I'd be saying to Twitch chat if they were here right now. I also like keeping the defense, not even because we are, you know, trying to barricade stuff, but because they're, they're second wind fodder. They're target for our better card, you know? Let's do one of these. Oh, good draw. That's what I was looking for. No, they're already weakened this turn, but hey, look, they're weakened next turn, too. Really wish I had that regal pillow now. <laughs> oh, no. What boss are we fighting? Oh, God. 
Help me, please. Help me, please. All right, this is nice, though. This is nice. This is nice. Once again, I can never draw Sands of Time early on in a fight. That's impossible. But. Hole. But hole. Oh, no. I went into Divinity. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Um, <laughs> I'm a little goofball short and stout. Here is me goofing all about. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm stable. I can do this. Play me one of these. Give me a little bit of voltage. I know that only draws one, but I wanted to be extra sure. Okay. We're fine. I gotta remember that I do have a barricade. Like, I'm actually, I'm just like actually hoarding block a lot of times. Like, I, I, I'm doing okay. Hologram is fantastic for the entrench. I mean, even if I just get it off once in this upcoming fight. Oh, no. Oh, no, this is... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not great, but also terrible. Um, We can block for 10. No, we can block for a lot more than 10, actually. Because of the power of duality. Holy... He's cooking. He do be cooking. All right, let's play you. You can play this, and then you can play this. Draw a little bit farther, then vault me. Nice. Then we can do this. This. Boom. A billion damage incoming. Get down. And we can probably kill you this turn. Can I kill you? I can as well. Okay, math is great. Okay. Gremlin Knob doesn't attack me on turn one. <laughs> I hear Twitch chat in my head. That's all I hear. All I hear is Twitch chat. Do it, do it, do it, do it. They say no balls. And then I say, actually, anytime that somebody says no balls, I don't, I'm, I'm less likely to do something because I just don't want to do it to spite them because they're just being like a dickhead. So then they say, do it. You have balls. Or do it, hero. Or do it, king. Kind of hype me up. We have really good potions. And they could be fantastic relics. They can't be ice cream, though. Gremlin Knob doesn't attack on turn one. The likelihood that we die immediately. Quite low. Can we kill them on first rotation, though? That's the problem. Is because of the fact that we're getting so many wounds with the other guy. Um, if we can't kill him on first rotation, we start retaining wounds with Runic Pyramid. That's little dicey. A tad bit dicey. We do have a second wind mitigate that a little bit but we might need to use it before in the you know earlier on in the fight f it let's do it mm. mainly because i have this thing i have this thing uh let's hold this let's hold this and go for the eyes potentially because it does help also by giving us duality when we very much need it we could go ahead and pop this potion it's one technically one attack too late but hey who's counting you are probably okay um Good, good turn. Good turn, actually. Fantastic turn. Okay. Do this. Do this. Play one of these. Love this. This is great. This is awesome. Okay. Hologram. Anything. Prostate. Okay. Boom. He's done it. Golden Eye. Whenever you scry, scry two more. Okay, don't really do that. 100 gold. A po you're guaranteed... By the way, from this fight, you're guaranteed uh, two relics. One of them being rare. One of them being uncommon. 100 gold. And a potion and a card ward. You are guaranteed all of those things. So, just know that going in. It's not just... Yeah. And also, Bottle Tornado for the Barricade. I mean, Dark Embrace is also insane, but I think it's Barricade. I think it's Barricade every time. And I don't think I need any of these... Go here. Fuck, do we need to rest? Oh, do we need to rest? Because if we just duplication potion the entrench when we find it, we're not getting attacked on turn one. We're guaranteed 14 block on turn two. Barricaded. Ooh, it's hard. It's really hard, actually. That is really, really hard of a decision. It's a very difficult decision. Because you can duplication potion the entrench. to go to 2852. Then you can hologram it back. It's 104. You can upgrade that. But we are also at a campfire, so it's less good to upgrade it now, right? But it's going to be better for next act to have this upgraded. But right now, because of the ancient T set, it's less 
necessity driven, I guess. I really want to upgrade the hologram to be able to do shenanigans farther into a fight. Going with my gut. I'm once again going with my gut. Okay. Oh. I can barricade vault here. That's so cool. I want to do that immediately. Give me the 14 block. Play all of this. Okay. Get rid of you out of my hands. I probably honestly need to do something like this. Again. Get me down to just a couple of cards. Come on. Come on. You gotta show me. Show me what I need to see right now. Okay, we go into we go into divinity. We kill one. Always kill only one if you can help it. Why? Because when the collector summons, they always summon back to two. So if you only have one left, they'll only summon one. There it is, baby. Do I still want a duplication potion in? A little bit. I mean, I can just do it and then second wind afterwards. That's not bad. It doesn't give me the draw though if I do that. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's be safe. Be safe. Don't do drugs. Do love. You know? I don't know. I guess technically that was order. I I'm, I'm nervous, okay? I'm playing in front of an audience that I don't know how big. I don't even know if I'm going to win this run. Spoiler alert if it's on YouTube. <laughs> insert comment of, why do you never upload losses? And then I insert the comment of, why don't you watch my videos? I do it all the time. <laughs> Want me to spoil which the next one that's gonna be a loss? I know what it is. I, I've I've made the content already. Uh, yeah, let's just hologram back in trench. It's just it's just good. Get one of those. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do either of these, so we can just go ahead and get rid of those. I'll just strike you for shits and giggles. Once again, order every single time that you play duality before, after the thing. I cringe. That's that's you. Does it sound like you? Did, it, did that feel like it sounded like you? Very very difficult deck to play. I'm not gonna lie. We draw three off of her insights. Do I care about any of the cards in my hand? I care about. Let's just hologram back. The prostates. So we can go into divinity. We can go boom. Then we can draw three. We draw in trench. We get that off. Now I don't care about any of these. Nice. Boom. Sweet. Okay, hold up. Let them cook. I don't think there's a way that I'm losing this at this point. I mean, I can go to 999 block right now if I want to. Bring back the sands of time. Be honest, you were a little bit nervous when I decided to go into the Colosseum event and the boss without resting. <sighs> Violence isn't bad. It's not always the answer, but it's not terrible in order to draw good stuff. Bludgeon, also a good consideration. Hear me out, though. It's just Sands of Time, but costs more most of the time. But, I mean, like, what is, what is tripled 42 damage? It's 42, right? A lot. The answer is a lot. Maybe that'd be fun. We could do big bonking. Do a little big bonking. I mean, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, we kind of just do want more energy most of the time, right? I'm not as scared of taking damage, but I'm also kind of scared of taking damage. We have no alternative way to heal. And I know you're screaming astrolabe, astrolabe, astrolabe. Here's the thing, though. I guess you could get rid of eruption. You can go eruption, strike, strike. Just have the biggest of bonkus. Big bonks only allowed. No tiny bonks allowed. Except go Hi. for the eyes. All right. That's, that's feisty. Go for the eyes. is feisty. Shivs are just hidden. Shivs, shivs aren't real bonks until they come out. Um, And just keep in mind, by the way, uh, Prismatic Shard only affects card rewards. So any of the, either of these, they don't get transformed into random cards. They would be strictly watcher cards. Which is not necessarily bad, but we kind of have like a closed loop of what we like with the Watcher cards. We don't need different ways to go into Wrath. Those would be dead. We don't need different ways to go into Calm. Those are, would be dead. We don't need, you know, we, 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 we could use some Scrying because of the Golden Eye. I'd love a uh, Third Eye. That'd be cool. Third Eye plus Scrying seven cards would be sick. That'd actually be dope. But like the odds of that, right? 
Scrawl would obviously be fantastic. Scrawl Plus. Yeah. There's a lot of good things. But I think I'm going to take the Coffee Dripper. I think that out of all of the relics in the game that people are most nervous about that they shouldn't be, I think it's Coffee Dripper. Newer players are always very timid about the Dripper. Don't be. You'll be okay, most likely. You'll figure it out. Maybe. I don't know. Ah! Sorry. Were you scared? Did I scare you? Okay. Uh, we actually have this here. Yeah. So you do this. You just play this anywhere. Gives you one dex. And you play barricade. Look. So easy. Look at that. Uh, you just have to play a little bit smarter at this point of the game. You just got to play a little bit smarter. Just a, just a little bit. You don't have to play a lot smarter. It doesn't have to be that much smarter. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Play one of those. Maybe I should have gotten rid of the blade dance too. But once we get a billion block, it won't matter nearly as much, will it? Yeah, people get very scared of not resting. There's a thousand different ways to heal in the game. And also, like straight up, <laughs> just don't take damage. <laughs> you know? Just dodge. Whenever I play The Binding of Isaac. Hey, Tristan. Have you considered just not getting hit? <laughs> I actually got a couple of banger tweets over the weekend. Um, shrug it off plus. Uh, yeah. I had a couple of banger tweets over the weekend. Um, the first one was I was commenting just like a blanket thing about rodeos and how I don't like the events at rodeos because I was like kind of just legalized animal abuse. Eh, we don't need to get into the semantics and, and get into a big discussion about shit right now. Uh, either way, I... I we did out about it, and I was having... Hello, I have a dog. Puppy. Beauty. Uh, I tweeted out over the weekend that I didn't like rodeos, and somebody, like, you know, got into the... Is Twitter.com? Is, uh, somebody's going to try to fight you. Somebody's going to try to... Well, actually, I don't believe it. I did believe it beforehand, but because you have a differing opinion, or because you have an X opinion, I now have the opposite. Um, and eventually, they got to the point where they said, you want to cite your source about animal knowledge? And so I took a photo of my partner, Hannah. She's an exotic veterinary technician that uh, has worked with a lot of varying animals. Hey, no stir. He's eating the peg then. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're okay. No, you don't. You don't need to climb over into my chair. No, you don't need to do that. Remember when I said that? Remember when I said one second ago, you don't need to climb over into my chair? Do you remember that? I know this is usually our cuddle time and I'm eating into the cuddle time with not cuddling you. I'm so sorry. Anyways, I put out a tweet and I said, uh, this woman that I commonly have sex with is uh, the, the, my source of all of my knowledge. And I explained her credentials and it was a banger tweet and it got like 1300 likes. It was really good. The second tweet though, that did really, really well was uh, I tweeted out, anytime that you go into your favorite streamer's stream, if you want to get a laugh 100% of the time, go in and tell them, oh my God, this insert the game that they usually play is looking funny today whenever they're doing a different game that isn't their main game. Because you hear it about 1,000 times every single day, and it is both, you know, after a certain amount of time, not funny, but also it's very much like, oh, you only play this one thing in my mind, and you're not actually a variety caster, even though you put in, like, you know, 40% of your hours into this game that you mainly see on YouTube. I'm going to go to this shop now in the game. I have 308 gold, and I would love to go spend my money, actually. Okay? Is that cool with you? All right. Ooh, that's quite good. This is also quite good. This is alternative healing. That's what we wanted, right? We wanted some alternative healing. Man, I can't afford both. This is really good, though, because this does, of course, proc prismatic shard. Any card rewards stuff like that does. Hmm. This is also good. Because we do have a lot of expensive cards. And then it also puts your sand of time down. I mean, that's really good with that. Fuck, there's so many good things. So many good and pogged up things. I think I go this and this. And I say, fuck you to the eternal feather. I'll find a different way to heal. Disarm, concentrate, burning pact. Terror? Incredible, 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 and incredible. I like this as well. I like both of these, actually. I, I, I enjoy both of them. I will take the, the sanctity, though. Um, I will take the disarm plus. We'll take the terror. Keep in mind, we're getting money back for this. Every single time that I take a card, I still get money. I don't think I need any of these. But hey, that was good stuff. I think that was a successful shot. Doggo update. He has uh, moved to just looking at the toys that he has put on the ground instead of actually going and playing with them. Specifically the Peglin because it's not a toy. But. <laughs> uh, let's outmaneuver. And then let's do this. And let's bring back the Enlightenment. 
I think there's more pogs to be had with it this run. This fight. What did I fucking say? Thank you for subscribing. Hey, uh, ranked Melody. Thanks for the brand new Prime. Took me a second to realize that that isn't normal for that to have happened here. I'm my my brain was very much ah yes, another subscriber coming in. I can't wait to thank them at my earliest convenience. <laughs> but now I realize that's not normal to happen. Order again, uh, because I'm technically off stream. I actually do get quite the number of subs off stream comparatively to I've talked to my friends about it and asked them like, you know, how many subs do you get off stream? And they they they've given me a number. Um, and because they're not as much on YouTube, and I think that's one of the biggest blunders of other streamers out there, is is, is not being focused on their platforms. Um, let's see if we can't draw a divinity. Could draw it with... No, we don't have Dark Embrace in play. Oop. There it is. Um, it, it's not making YouTube content. I don't think it's like a blunder blunder, but you know what I'm saying. I think that one of the best ways that you, people can diversify is, is, is and grow their content is by... Putting out content on other platforms, and that's something that I'm very proud of. But, um, yeah, I do actually get quite the number of subs offline. And, hey, if you've subbed offline, know that one, one, I've seen it. I see it. Two, why don't you guys fucking reply to me? Okay? Like, seriously, I'm, I'm like being dead serious right now. Like, a hundred percent of people, not a hundred, because I didn't just, I didn't just type in chat for this guy. You're going to say, well, not that guy that just subbed right now. But a large amount of people that have subscribed offline, large amount, I have responded to in the chat within 60 seconds of it happening. But no one to this day has ever responded when I thank them. They sub within 60 seconds. I'm like, thank you for the sub. I really appreciate that. You're so nice. Because I'm at my computer all the time. I imagine terminally online. Um, yeah, just don't get response. Disarm number two is okay. It's not bad. Who am I fighting up top? Waken guy? And how many powers do I have? One, two? It's not that pogged up. One cost protect almost seems better, yeah? One cost protect seems a little bit better. More big, beefy block cards. More big, beefy, protective. I'm thinking so much damage here. Oops. Maybe I shouldn't have played the barricade there, and I should have gotten five more block. I could have also used this potion. I need to consider things more. I play too fast, and that's definitely one of my faults. Um, bum bum ba da bum bum bum. I'm gonna bring back you, make you cost one. Jeez, okay, yeah, I definitely need to do this, huh? Ow. Bam. I deal a lot of damage. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me, no, like, I could deal a lot of damage if I wanted to. No, like, I'm serious. Like, trust me. Like, if I really wanted to, like, I could totally hurt you. Yeah. Like, you just don't want to frick with me, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Like, you just really don't want to frick with me. Yeah. Like, you just, you just, you just wouldn't, I wouldn't. If I was me, I wouldn't be messing with me, yeah. If I had the option of messing with me or not, I just, like, probably freaking wouldn't, you know? I really want to upgrade the... I want to upgrade my... What the hell is it called? <laughs> my enlightenment. I would like it to permanently cost less. That would be cool. I mean, this is just enough damage to make you deal a non... Or a less meaningful amount. Nice. Three damage is much better. Much easier to deal with. And then watch this! <laughs> but yeah, moral of the story of all of this is you should definitely subscribe at random times throughout the day because you never know when I'm going to be doing an offline recording and you could be the hyper-rare 1% chance of being in an offline recording. How cool is that? Is there ever a chance that I'd kill this guy here? It's, like, not impossible if I had a way out of Wrath, but I kind of got rid of that, huh? <laughs> I think also if my... If I had my Sands of Time, I'd gone all the way down. 
Whirlwind's not terrible if I needed AoE, but I don't think it's super necessary at this point. Like we do... Mm, that could be Reptomancer. That could be Reptomancer. That could be Reptomancer. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, it's Reptomancer. Who could have called it? Who? What the hell? Like, what the fuck, man? Who could have known? I actually don't know if I play this here. Does it reduce? Does the cost revert back? But if I keep it in my hand, it doesn't. I actually don't know how this works. It does. That's so interesting. I'm learning so much. Hippo G. That's it. Twitchy mode. I'm sorry. I'm too twitch build. Okay. I just got to slap this guy a little bit. Vault me 100%. Yes. Vault all over the place. Frick. Okay. Hit you. We definitely have a way to kill you. So let's do this. Draw a card real quick. Sanctity is awesome. Cool. The hell is it? Super awesome, cool. The likelihood that I draw my other prey or my hologram is low. So let's just deal with what we've got right in front of us. A little bit of order there. But I would have overdrawn anyways, it's fine. Okay. We need to go into Divinity this turn badly. So let us get rid of a billion cards. It then pretty much guarantee us going into divinity here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Do I have a, an easy enough way to block things? Not currently. So I need to find that. So in order to do that, we're going to play a bunch of these. What do we bring back here? Enlightenment? In order to make things cost nothing. So that we can... You do 11? If I could play you for 2, which I can. No, because we're going to be still in the... We need to not leave Wrath. Or not leave Divinity. Fuck. So we need Second Wind then. Second Wind is the play. There it is. Goodbye, Entrench. There are all my cards. Nice. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, you didn't even die to that. Oops. Never punished, though. Right? Right? All right, guys? I'm not going to be punished, right? There's no chance. I'm going to, like, take a, like, a copious amount of damage here, right? No. Not a goddamn chance. Ooh, toy as well. That's an alternative form of healing. Crippling Cloud's not terrible. Wave of the Hand's also not bad. Turbo, I think, is the play, though. No. Not with Enlightenment. Not as necessary. Good with this. It's good in a lot of cases, but do we need, like, alternative forms of, of like, gaining energy or, like, enlightening things? I don't know, man. We're going to here, and we can upgrade the enlightenment here, because now with the toy, I feel more comfortable. But I, think, I don't think I need that now. Maybe I do, though. Ooh! Hello, I have a red mask. How cool am I? That's okay. Not as good for what we're trying to do here. Hello. Hello. You scare me. If I didn't have a barricade, that is. <laughs> but I do. I do have the barricade. Oh, my God. I kind of thought it started with a four and I got scared. <laughs> it started with a four and I shit myself a little bit. And I'll realize that when you have minus three strength, that also starts with a guess what? You named it. Um, do this, do this, get a card out of hand, hit the vault so you don't gain intangible, then we go into divinity, 144, the flex cool, piercing whale is also cool, I don't think I need either of them though, iron wave is also cool, I think you're cool, 
I'm going to go this way. Because there's a couple of events that, like, heal you to max HP. I almost would take madnesses. If I, if I had toxic, I'd take madnesses. We do need to, to do a key, but it's not like we can, like, force a rest or anything. Bottled lightning. On... Enlightenment? Enlightenment's not a bad choice. It's not a bad choice. You could also do vault, though. Because at this point, we're going to be, like, campfiring almost all the time. So it's going to be either campfire into a fight that's major, right? Act 4 elites, upcoming boss. Not the second boss, though. But also, against the heart, you know what they're doing on turn one, right? It's it's nothing. Could do disarm. That's not a terrible play. Sorry for the sniffles again. Could do shrug. I think enlightenment's not a bad bet. What card do we always feel like we're waiting for? Some of our mantra. Maybe it could just be vault, though. Yeah, because we still can barricade vault with a miracle, right? Yeah, since we have four mana now. All right, team solid. Remove a card. For sure. Is it time to finally remove another defend? <laughs> I don't think so. I think it is still strike. Second wind fodder. Too good. Too good. You remember that thing I was talking about? Boom, boom. Play one of these. Draw one of these. Do one of these. Bring back the prey. We're going to do it again next turn. Hey, prey. Yeah, we, we have Akabeko now. It's, 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 it's a pretty sick. Um, We can do this. Then we can do this. I think I'm okay with playing this for that amount. This is currently going to hit for 15 times. So that kills you and takes me... And since you're not attacking me, it is perfect not lethal on myself. Love that. And then I can make you cost that. Which... See, that's what I mean. Oh, no. We upgraded it. We upgraded it. I'm right. Never mind, never mind. We upgraded it. Shut the fuck up, Tristan. Fire potion. That's just five more health in my eyes. Uh, erotic Inferno. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Sorry, someone followed me. I kind of want to go here because I want to see if it's a shop. We have $500. A lot of dollars. How did I get so much fucking money? Like, actually, what the hell? I think I'm getting rich this fight. This, 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 this time. Yeah, screw that elite, man. It's too much health, man. It's too much health. It's too much health. I can only take. I can only take the one. It's a trip. I would like it. I will instead take a good instincts. Actually, I don't think that's bad. It's a deflect plus that just gets better with the more decks that I get. We have to recall here. We do proc. The good, good though. The good shit. Look at all this good shit that I can do. Look at all this good shit. Good shit! Okay. Um, I do not have Dark Embrace in play. Keep that in mind. Okay. Play you. Bludgeon. Bludged. Get judged and bludged. Just gain a little bit of block then. We can bring back this and play it again. Empty our hand. We have a couple of ways now that we can get into our big, big mode. This Donkey's company, right? Big Mo. Donkey's new gaming company. Doing good stuff in the space. Here's a controversial take. I think video game Donkey is cool. <laughs> Anyways, uh, draw me some cards. <laughs> now that I've gotten cancel. I think it's probably just you. I like the other cards that I have. Good instincts. There we go, baby. Let's go. Hit him. It's okay damage. Like, it's it's like, whatever. I don't know. Like, I guess I could do better if I really tried. Oh, you want me to try? Okay. No, I wasn't trying this whole time. No. No, but I could, though, if I really wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's a little prey down there. I guess I maybe should have saved for... Skadoosh. Never mind. Check this out. I was going to say, I maybe should have saved for Entrench, but... Order, 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 order! Order number 87 of this run. 
Can you say the word order? Way to go! Decent turn. Thank you, I'll maneuver. <laughs> Hologram back, the prey plus. <gasps> Boom! That's boss number one. Zero health lost. I probably want to use both of my potions here for healing in this fight. No matter what. No matter what happens. Barricade. You could save the vault, actually, for a free turn. So maybe that was a wasted miracle until it fucking wasn't. So if you play the vault as the 12th card, you just get another turn and you reset the counter. It's pretty nice. It's a pretty good little play. Comes in handy sometimes. Okay, gain a little bit of block. Stay safe out there. It'll, it'll do good against the turn that we're, we're vulnerable and stuff, too. So that we can uh, guarantee potentially like a, a vault into the, something like that. Into like a second wind, right? So a bunch of cards. Okay. Next turn we can play two cards. I'm hesitant. I'm hesitant to trust that I'll have two cards that I can play. <laughs> so. Um... That's bad. That's bad. So I think I have to play this blade dance here. Fuck. This is just not a good... This is just not a good position to be in. Yeah, this is just bad. We're just... We're in a bit of a pickle here. I guess what I'm going to do next turn. Guess what I'm playing this turn, guys? I bet you can't guess. Holy! Yeah, it doesn't actually get rid of that, by the way, but... Uh, we can gain some decks at least here, which is a little bit nice, I think. We haven't played our Dark Embrace yet, which sucks. Which freaking blows. Straw. Purity's nice, because we can get rid of it now. Six times a couple. Taking three, not bad. Go ahead and let that cost zero. It's okay. Not a fan. Really not a fan. Really not a fan of the way that this is going. Very much not a fan. I can play Whirlwind here. Need a little bit of block. I can play four cards next turn. Okay. That's this is some good four cards. Do not go into Divinity on accident. That would be how you say an embarrassment. Draw me a couple of cards. Play this. Hopefully, we can get a little bit of block off next turn. Just like a wee bit. I don't know. Maybe we just kill you? I don't know. Maybe you just fucking die? I don't know. Did you do that? Big mode! I didn't use my potions! <laughs> No. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. You panicked. You panicked. You got through it. So it's all that matters. You focused. You look good. Did your hair before this? There's a sleepy puppy. You got everything going for you. You got everything going for you. This one's for the fans. That one's for me, actually. I lied. <laughs> Whenever you shuffle your draw pile, scry five. Seems pretty good. Because that's three plus this. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Don't think Talk to the Hand does a whole lot here. Ink Bottle does something. Ink Bottle does indeed do something. Um, and then you could trade out this potion. Or your fire potion for a power. <laughs> um, but also Secret Technique. Secret Technique could be the play. Bring in Enlightenment. Yeah, I think I like that. Secret Technique. Remove this. Grab this. Do I need any of these cards? Deceive Reality is like kind of the only one that I would ever consider. You know what? Yes, I need that. That's what I need. Fuck the stance potion. What do I need it for? Nothing. Nothing. What do these do? Oh. It's not a terrible double instincts there. 
Could have saved it for this turn, though, to get one more dex on it. Ooh, you're once again in a fucking failing, and I'm counting it. That's you. It's not me. It would never be me. Um, dark Embrace into a little bit of draw. Go for the eyes. That's nice. Into a terror. Into a little bit of that. Okay, good turn. We could possibly just one-shot you this turn. There's a chance. Hit one of these. Hit it with one of these. Draw 800 billion and one. And that one is a prey. Boom. You're not dead? News to me, man. <laughs> also, the prismatic tech. Because of prismatic shard, you have the chance of losing your uh, your focus there. It's nice. Instead of your uh, other things that are better for you and not your focus. Uh, we can get rid of you. We can get rid of you. We can get rid of you. Maybe World Wind is the play. I don't know. Let's reduce everything down to a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, there's all of my way into Divinity. Love that. Okay. Um, I can draw one. I can draw... Because I can Secret Technique, and that draws two of them, actually. I don't remember which one was on top. <laughs> oh, fucking... Fucking fuck me, I guess. Fucking suck me. Yeah, we just need to do this. Turn it around real quick. Okay. What up, dude? I'm, like, gonna hit you in the face. Okay. Use a potion here. So that you heal. Because you have a 40% chance of getting a potion here. <laughs> Third eye is insane, right? With the gold knife. We'll take that. Hello, heart. It's me. Hi. We've been here before. Hi. Hey. <laughs> hey. Devotion seems okay. Yeah, we don't want to go to next turn. I mean, you can go to next turn because the 14 block doesn't really matter. But instead, I think I'm going to do a protect for a guaranteed bit of block. And we also have Art of War now, which I procced, uh, totally remembering that it was there, 100%. I knew. I knew. Trust me, guys. All right. How do we block next turn? We draw go for the eyes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I, didn't do, I didn't do the thing I wanted to do. I don't want to play the potion just yet because we don't have a whole lot of block here. That can draw me not go for the eyes. It can, however, draw me enlightenment. This arm would have been good next last turn, huh? So that I can play things at my whim. These are not the cards that I want, huh? Like, they just really aren't it. Dealing a lot of damage, though. Dealing just so much damage to you. But now I'm going to need you to take some. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to need to to not die real quick. I am completely fucking dead. Ah, sh shit. <laughs> Damn, I actually didn't think that this deck would fall that quickly. But look at all the stuff that we could have had. Dark Embrace. I would have used Disarm on turn one. Second win to do a billion. Maybe I could have grabbed that with second with, with Secret Technique. Maybe that was enough. I don't know. Well, no, because we wouldn't have had all the decks and stuff from playing a billion attacks. Maybe Rushdown was the play, but even then, like, I don't know. Maybe the Stance Potion. It, it, but, it, like, you get Go for the Eyes. You get any of your Insights. You get Hologram. You get you get any of this shit, and you, you, you do pretty well in this fight, I think. Maybe. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Damn. Well, a valiant effort. A valiant effort indeed. A valiant effort indeed. GG. Fun run. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. I really appreciate that. Comment and uh, let me know that I did okay on my offline recording. You never upload losses. What the hell? Get uploaded. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah!